The Miami Dolphins will join the rest of the NFL in kicking off training camp in the final days of July, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out which players will be under the biggest spotlight, but there will be others beyond Tua Tagovailoa, Tyreek Hill, Taron Armstead and company who bear watching this summer. Here are six of them, Austin Jackson. The offensive line easily will be the most scrutinized position in training camp and probably no one will be under the microscope more than Jackson. The 2020 first-round pick clearly is at a crossroads after two disappointing seasons, one at left tackle and the other mostly at left guard, but the arrival of Mike McDaniel and the outside zone scheme might be the key to unlocking Jackson's NFL potential, Connor Williams. Williams doesn't need to prove himself as an NFL offensive lineman like Jackson does, but the question with him is whether he can start at center after playing left guard with the Dallas Cowboys the past four seasons. Williams worked at center throughout the offseason and he very well might remain at that position as long as he shows he can handle the transition, Hunter Long, the Dolphins didn't get much out of Long during his rookie season of 2021, but that wasn't entirely unexpected considering they had four returning tight ends, Mike Gesicki, Durham Smythe, Adam Shaheen and Seathan Carter. But the Dolphins didn't spend a third-round pick in the 2021 draft on Long for no reason, so the expectation is that he'll be asked to play a bigger role at some point. Lynn Bowden Jr. To suggest that Bowden can become another Debo Samuel because of what he did at the University of Kentucky and what he showed as a rookie in 2020 might be a stretch, but there's clearly a lot of potential there. Bowden is back after spending all of 2021 on injured reserve with a training camp hamstring injury and he'll need to make a quick impression to earn a spot on the 53-man roster. The Dolphins figure to keep five or six wide receivers and Hill, Jalen Waddell. Cedric Wilson Jr. and rookie fourth-round pick Eric Azukanma basically are locks. Trent Sherfield, who was signed to a three-year contract and figures to replace Mac Hollins as the gunner, also is almost a given. That means that Bowden needs to impress in camp to stick around. Channing Tindall, the Dolphins didn't have a pick until the third round in the 2022 NFL Draft, so they won't get the impact from their rookie class like they got last season. The team's first pick. Third round selection Channing Tindall. Figures to at the very least get playing time on special teams as a rookie, but he could carve himself a role on defense depending on how he performs in training camp. Noah Igbinagin, we wrap up with perhaps the most intriguing player in camp, Igbinagin, the 30th overall pick in the 2020 draft. Like Jackson, Igbinagin needs to elevate his game in a big way in his third season to stick around for much longer. We should not forget, however, that Igbinagin was C when he entered the Draft as a raw prospect who would need time to develop. And it certainly won't help that he's now being coached by two of the best cornerbacks in Dolphins history, Sam Madison and Patrick Certain. Igbinagin being able to take a big step forward would be huge for the Dolphins in many ways, starting with the fact that there is no proven depth right now beyond starters Xavier Howard and Byron Jones and slot corner Nick Needham.